Well, who doesn't need this type of advice? It's time to look into some deals around the Beltway to help you get a little more for your money, specifically at the grocery store. Laura Harders is the founder of the blog Beltway Bargain Mom, and she's here to share some of her grocery savings secrets, which I love this. Um, you know, nowadays we're all trying to save some money. Um, I think things are tight for everyone all around, but with couponing, <laughs> For me specifically, and I don't know, you know, if, if a lot of people are like this or not. You know, I get the, I get the, the ads in the newspaper. I, you know, I might thumb through them, but I never take the time to cut them out. Organize. Like, how do you, how do you manage it all? Because it requires some time and organization, doesn't it? It does, but there's a misconception that you have to spend hours scouring through the ads and clipping coupons and driving out to 10 different stores. Right. When really you can implement some simple strategies just at one or two stores and end up saving a lot of money. Okay. Well, let's start off with that. So, um, and like I shop at Safeway because it's down the street from my house, even though I know Safeway tends to be a little more expensive than, say, Giant. But I'm a Safeway club member. And I love putting my club member card through after everything's been rung up, and I can see, oh, I just saved thirty dollars. Um, so, wh wh where can people start off with their particular store? Well, you'll, you'll want to get to know your, all of your store's policies very well. So, for example, at Safeway, you'll want to sign up for the club card. Mm -hmm. You'll want to sign up to get e -new newsletter alerts. Okay. Um, and you'll also want to know the coupon policies. Do they double coupons? Many stores in our area double coupons well, up what to ninety-nine mean? cents in face value. Well, basically, if you get a manufacturer coupon for mm -hmm. 50 cents off mm -hmm. many stores in our area will double that so you'll get a dollar savings when you're wow. at checkout okay and that's not something you necessarily like I didn't know that that's no well and not every store but the majority in our area do okay okay um, what about uh, I see I see that uh, you mentioned rain check like you need to know more than just the club card policies what are that's the other right. policies you should look at well you need to know when the new sales cycle will start okay. so many grocery stores in our area begin today on Wednesday so midweek there's gonna be new sales coming up so you'll want to know what's on sale and if it's out of stock you'll want to get a rain check. Many stores will give you a rain check so when they restock that item in the following week you can pick up as many as you want at that at price. At the sales price instead right. of because the next week it may be back at regular price. Right and okay. they do have quantity limits on that. So like that's again one of those things where you know how do I know what a store's sales cycle is? How do I find that out? You can go to their website mm -hmm. um, and just you know in general many stores start on Wednesday here in the DC area. Okay so just we shop, should know that. Well you can check out my blog and there's okay. um, the online resources as well. Okay, perfect. And then reusable bags you mentioned, and then you also mentioned in incorrect tagging and price. I did not know it's Giant? Yes. Um, if you're shopping at Giant and you scan an item at checkout and it rings up at a higher price than mm. what's on the shelf tag mm. or what's advertised in the sales circular, you can take that item over to customer service and get it for free. Wow. So have they don't just give that happen to you? Uh, yeah, that has happened. Wow. And they want to correct the, you know, the system and so they correct the error so it doesn't keep ringing up at the wrong price as well. And that's not something though necessarily that they sit around and advertise. Guess what? If you get it if we get it wrong, it's going to be free. You just kind of need to know that. I'm well, assuming. it is on their website, on oh, their official website. coupon policy, but you do kind of have to, you right. know, look through all the all Yeah, of I it. can't say I've ever been to Safeway or Giants website. Well, and it's not something you think of. We're usually going into the store, getting what we need and getting out as fast Right. as we can because we have busy lives. Point. I don't want to spend any more time than I have to in there. <laughs> well, just by taking a little bit of time, you can save quite a bit of money right. by planning out what's on sale, trying to plan your, your meals and just what you're buying for that week on groceries based on what's on sale. Okay, you don't want to so buy it full price. My boyfriend and I were just talking about this because it's, while it's all fine and dandy that um, I can get, you know, a dollar off of, you know, Captain Crunch and, you know, I can go in there and buy five bottles of Captain Cr five boxes of Captain Crunch. I don't eat Captain Crunch and then I've just spent money on food that... I'm not going to eat anyway, so it was a waste of money to begin with, even though I used a coupon. So you're saying plan the meal before you go? Plan your shopping trip before you go. And that's right, you don't want to buy things that you're not going to use. That right. doesn't Just make sense. Just because they're on sale. Um, unless you're able to get it and donate it if it's, you know, if you're getting right. the item at really low cost. But, you know, look at the items that you already buy that you incorporate into your meals mm -hmm. and look for when those go on sale, get extras or put some to freeze for sure. later. Sure, sure. Freezing is key. Okay. Um, and then you say combine sales with coupons. Yes, so basically 
an item goes on sale, it's already at discount, you want to look for manufacturer coupons to pair with that. So you're going to maximize your savings or double dip into how much you're going to be able to save. And where do you go looking for those manufacturer coupons? Um, you can look on manufacturer websites. There's also websites listed on my blog, like coupons.com, where you can print uh, different coupons and okay. you just have to be searching. So um, it's kind of like I know I like to use a lot of Splenda, a box of Splenda's not cheap so I could go on Splenda's website and see if they've got a coupon there and that would be the manufacturer's coupon. You could sign up if they have an e-newsletter um, and then also be looking out on my blog and there's other online resources where they'll list out if there's any available coupons by a certain manufacturer. Okay. What's so cool about your website, because they have these couponing websites, but yours is specific, right, to the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area? Yes. And our stores. Yes. So it's not going to be, do we have Do we have Kroger in our area? I don't think we have Kroger, right? No, we don't. So there's not going to be information on Kroger. It's going to be Giant, Safeway, all of our local stores. Right. I just do a highlight of the deals that are in our area. Okay. And then do you have, we've got about 30 seconds, do you have any hints about, you know, take time on Sunday or take time, you know, take an hour on a Wednesday or is it something that people have to do daily to stay on top of this? Like what's your well, game plan? Um, the game plan is really depend on resources. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Check out my blog BeltwayBargainMom.com and you'll see some of the highlights of the best deals but plan it out and just don't go into the store. Uh, just plan it out and do it with purpose and you'll save money. Okay, so being lazy is expensive. It's going to actually cost you money. You could save money if you're proactive and actually take the moment. So I am going to do it. I am going to do this this year. This is one of my challenges. I should have made one of my New Year's resolutions. How you long have you been time. doing it? Uh, I've, for about three years, I've had and my how blog. how much do you think you've, you've saved? Oh, a lot of money. Um, yeah, thousands of dollars a year. No, there you yeah. go. That's the selling point. Ding, ding, ding. That's what we want to hear. Laura, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be checking out your blog.